What's going on, my now entrepreneur family? Hey, hey, hey. It has been a week, and I'm super excited uh, about being on for tonight's training. Uh, if you're just getting in, make sure you go through and actually um, drop your name. Let me know where you're from. Also, if you're catching this on the replay, um, put in hashtag replay. I want to see how many people are actually um, catching this on the replay. And if you're just getting in, make sure you actually give me a thumbs up to let me know that you can hear me. Or also just write in the comment section, Ferris, I can hear you. Uh, so we have a couple of viewers coming in. And tonight I'm going to actually open this up to my Facebook community. I'm just going to give them a sneak peek. What's up, Shayla? Girl, hey, you, you had everybody fired up tonight about this Dunkin' Donut Krispy Kreme thing. What's up, Felicia? How's it going? How's it going? I'm going to, I'm, I am, I'm actually going to go live on my personal Facebook page tonight to go to give people a sneak peek of what we're doing over here in the Now Entrepreneur. And I just want to go through and let everybody know that, hey, your books will be in the mail tomorrow. I have a couple book, I have a couple boxes right here um, that I'm getting everything uh, packed up and shipped out tomorrow. I had a little logistics uh, thing come up. So we're getting everything shipped out tomorrow. I'm super excited about the ones that are joining us on the journey uh, within a book club. And I really, I actually went through and renamed our book club to the accelerator, to the accelerator. I know, and um, for those that are a part of the accelerator, you will be getting a um, inbox message on our private community. There's a lot of things that I put in place so that we can give you guys that extra attention. Uh, I'm super excited about it. Um, this book this month, I'm not gonna go through and reveal it right now, but this book this month, it's really gonna shape um, your mindset. And if that's how you go through and start, you start off with the mindset. So I'm super excited about that on, um, to come, but again, I'm about, I'm about to go through and invite my other Facebook um, family on board, and we're going to go and get started on tonight's um, masterclass, which is the Go Getter: How to Make Your Own Opportunities in Life. And I think this is going to be a really good class. Uh, let me go through, and I may be repeating some of myself, so you have to bear with me. All right, Facebook family, hey, 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 this is Ferris. I know you haven't seen me in a while on my personal page, but hey, I am actually doing a masterclass over in the Now Entrepreneur. Facebook community. So if you have not joined, make sure you look in the comment section or section above. Make sure you click on that link, request access. This is an entrepreneur only uh, community. It's a free membership uh, community, but this is where we go through and do live training on a weekly basis. So I am going to go through and allow y'all to just take a sneak peek of what's going on in the Now Entrepreneur community. I'm just, then after that, I'm going to cut you off because I have to go through and give that attention to my guys over here in the Now Entrepreneur. So I'm casting out of two different groups right now. So uh, again, Tonight's training is actually called the Go-Getter. Uh, is that, I'm actually speaking about the Go-Getter, and typically I have slides, but unfortunately, computer situations, I'm going off my slides right here. So we're going right here. But um, so many times in life, people, they, they go through and classify some people as the have, have not, the people that, that have, they're the golden child, the one that have to pull the stuff up by the bootstrap. But some people classify individuals as Go-Getters. And we all know, especially in a professional life, we all know individuals that are really go-getters. These are individuals that do not take no for an answer. These are individuals that, that, that just have it. They, they have something about themselves that they're going to go through and reach whatever goals that they have. They're going to reach it, and you know with 100% certainty that they will. So tonight, we're going to be going through and talking about the seven, way, on the seven secrets of the go-getter. And, of course, at the end of the night, uh, at the end of this master class, you're going to be able to go through and kick down any door that's standing in your way of opportunity. And that's the that's the goal of this master class is to go through and give you information on how you can go through and apply it tomorrow to actually be that go getter as well. So with that being said, if you see me looking down, I'm looking down at my notes. So again, just think about this. Life cannot reject a person who won't be rejected. Think about that. This is what a go getter um, says in their mind. Life cannot reject a person who won't be rejected. That's what go-getters think. I'm going to get on the edge of my seat because it's about to get really, really good. But if you're a go-getter, you have, like, you, rejection is not an option. Rejection is not an option because in your mind, you've already known that, hey, rejection is just a stumbling block to, to, the, to that yes or to that, to, that, to that door opening. So you understand that life cannot reject the person that cannot be rejected. And you need to tell yourself that as well. So here are the seven secrets of a go-getter. And I'm going to break them down individually, but I'm going to give you an overview on what we're going over tonight. A go-getter is a person who seeks ways to improve their environment. A go-getter never takes no for an answer. And you're going to say, oh, my God, some, some people are very persistent and consistent. I'm going to tell you why. A go-getter, go-getters are not hesitant. They, they're not hesitators. They're not the ones that says, oh, my gosh, well, I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to sleep on it. Go-getters, they're not that way. 
go getters compete with themselves. Com- I, I, there's no other competition. I'm going to go deeper in this as well. Go getters exhaust all opportunities. And I, I like when people say, you know what? I tried it all. Really? Did you really try it all? Did you really, really, truly try it all? Okay. I'm going to go through and go over that as well. Go getters are people that over plan. So, sometimes people just plan to make sure things just get right, go right. But go getters over plan. They, they want to make sure all I's are dotted, all T's are crossed. And if this happened, that happened, this will happen as well. So I'm going to go through and go over that as well. And last but not least, go-getters understand the power of an inner circle. They understand the power of community. They understand the power of people. And we're going to go over that as well. So with that being said, we're going to jump right into it. And if, if you all have any questions along this training, please make sure you go through and actually drop it in the comment section. And those are the individuals that are watching it on my personal Facebook page. I'm probably about 10 minutes. I'm going to be probably logging off my personal Facebook page. But if you want to gain access to the Now Entrepreneur community, Check the link in the, uh, the link above in the description. Click on that and request access, and I'll make sure I get you in as well. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and keep on going. So we're going to talk about the first part right here. The go-getter seeks out ways to improve the environment. Okay, so let's go through and talk about the opposite of this. I know many of us, we may be in working environments or may have your own business, and some people always find flaws, always, always find opportunity to criticize, always find opportunity to go through and say, this is wrong, or, hey, you've been the business owner, hey, you should have did this, or you should have did that. A go-getter seeks out opportunities to improve it. And so it doesn't matter if you own a business or if, you're, or, if you're, or if you work within a business, you're an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur, it doesn't matter. A go-getter seeks out ways to improve their environment. They're not afraid to go through and, and make decisions based on their training and their experience. So many times people will use excuses where, hey, I wasn't trained or no one told me this, or hey, it didn't say this. A go-getter says, forget that. Based off of my experience, based off my training, I'm going to go through and do this. I'm going to go through and actually change my environment. That's what go-getters do. do. Individuals that proclaim a false claim as a go-getter, they, they sit there and they wait on the supervisor. They wait on the boss. They wait on the leadership to go through and tell them something so that they can go back. And if it does not work out right, they can go back and say, well, hey, you told me to do that or you told me to do this. A go-getter takes responsibility because they understand the importance of changing their own environment. Also, a go-getter understands that you bring something to the industry that will transcend rules, responsibilities, and task given. So let me, let me break that down a little bit. So, so many times, when, when a, go, a go-getter is an asset to a business. And if you're a business owner right now and you have a go-getter, you, it may be in sales, maybe in customer service, maybe your front desk person, whatever. It doesn't have to be an entrepreneur to be a go-getter. If you have a go-getter, that person brings value to your business. That, brings value, that person brings va- value to your life. So as a go-getter, they bring something that's going to transcend room. They, they're not just going to be a bobblehead and just say yes, yes, yes off of everything that you say. They're going to go through and challenge your thinking. They're going to go through and want, they want to see you in your best light. So to go through and actually identify yourself as a go-getter, you have to be a person that transcends the the norm. You can't just go through and just go by the rules all the time and call yourself a go-getter. It doesn't matter how much wealth you you, you may attain, no matter what type of business you have, anybody can start a business. But to be a go-getter, a trendsetter, you must go through and challenge the norm. If this is making sense so far, give me a few thumbs up. Give me a few hearts as well. We're going to keep it moving right along, right along. And again, those individuals that are watching on my personal Facebook page, we're probably about five minutes. I'm actually clicking on my personal page, and we're going to be keeping going live on the, on the community page. So make sure you click the link above to go through and gain access. All right. Let me, I got multiple computers going. Let me so. Okay. I want you to ask yourself these questions right here. Ask yourself these questions. When was the last time you decided that you were going to do something about your job, do something about your business, do something about your current situation without anyone telling you to do something? A go-getter does not wait for no one to tell them to do anything. It's, it, we, they don't wait till the time is right. They don't wait till the industry says that this is what you can do. A go-getter says, you know what? This is something that I want to go through and do. I'm going to go through and take a leap. I'm going to go through and change my sales environment. I'm going to change my approach. That's what a go-getter does. Many people claim to be a go-getter. Many people claim to have a hustle. But if you look at their time, look at their schedule, look at how much time they spend on Facebook or watching the game or whatever, are you really a go-getter? Are you really serious about your hustle? Are you really serious about your business? Are you really serious about changing your community? Are you really serious about changing your family's life? That's, those, these are things you have to ask yourself as a go-getter. 
Also, ask yourself this question. When was the last time you implemented something that you learned or read within a business or your personal life? Ask, like, I was talking to one of my CEOs today and uh, for one of my businesses, and he was telling me back in, a couple years ago when he laid out everything that he implemented within our business. When was the last time you came up with a bright idea? When was the last time, instead of complaining about something, when was the last time you said, I'm going to take an initiative to go through and change my family's life? When was the last time you took an initiative to go through and change your business? When was the last time a person within your business, this is how you will, you will identify if you have a go-getter on your team, when was the last time that you went through and actually did something to go through and say, you know, this is a change that I'm going to go through and put in my life? I see a few people dropping in the comment section says, two weeks ago, good job, Shayla. Good. But these are the things you have to go through and ask yourself, ask your, especially when you're evaluating yourself and evaluating your business, ask yourself these things. One last question as well. This is something I always preach to in all of my sales teams. When, as a go-getter, when was the last time you asked for forgiveness instead of permission? So many times people ask for permission. Well, it didn't say I can do it like this, so I didn't do it. When was the last time you asked for forgiveness? Because so many times our businesses, so, so many of us run small businesses. So when running a small business, you're able to do things that large Fortune 500 companies cannot do. Because sometimes you may get a slap on the wrist instead of something that's a large fine or whatever. But when was the last time you did something where you had to ask for forgiveness instead of just for permission? Because, of course, a lot of things go into the gray area. So people may say, you know what, no, you cannot do this or no, you cannot do that. And they may not know based off policies and procedures that you can or cannot do it. But I tell, I tell my sales team always, ask for forgiveness instead of for permission all the time. Go through, take, be a go-getter, take a chance, take an opportunity because you never know. Personally in my life, I've asked for forgiveness and I continue to ask for forgiveness a lot because I like to go through and tread that little, that little line to go through and give myself that slight edge when it comes to my competitive advantage. That's why I go through and tell people as well, make sure you go through and actually ask for, ask for forgiveness instead of per, for permission all the time. These are things that you have to ask yourself as a go-getter, as a go-getter. All right. <clears throat> so when we're talking about improving business, Always can like first first thing you always want to go through and continuously seek ways to improve your performance. So do a self evaluation. So we're talking about go getters. Go getters. They don't wait to a supervisor or to a boss or to the industry or to the community tell them that okay this is wrong or what. They they do self evaluation of their business. They do self evaluations of, of of their of their sales process or or their team members. So go through and find ways to self evaluate yourself to to identify your performance areas that you can improve on. Also, be your biggest critic. So many times people are like, well, I don't, I don't like being hard on myself. No, be hard on yourself. You're a go-getter. You're, 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 some, you're a trailblazer. Be hard on yourself. So many times like people say, well, Ferris, you work too hard. You do this. And no, 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 I don't work hard enough because I have big dreams, big goals. My, I'm only 35 years old. My life, I don't compare myself. And I'm probably getting ahead of my so as well, I don't compare myself to no one else. I compare myself to the man in the mirror. And I know that I'm my biggest challenge. I'm my biggest competitor. And that's what go-getters, they, they don't look to the person to the left or to the right. They say that, you know what? I'm my biggest competitor. I'm going to go through and make things happen as well. So that's what, that's what you can do as well. I'm going to move it right along just for the sake of time. We'll skip a couple of things because I want to make sure I hit everything I need to hit. So the next one is go-getters never take no. How many times, oh my gosh, I see this a lot, especially if you're looking for a job, especially for employees who are looking for a job, it's the first no, and they say, okay, I guess it wasn't for me, or oh, God, didn't have, he didn't plan it for me. No, go get her, say, you know what, this no means there's another door. This no, no means there's an opportunity for me to learn how to do something else. No does not mean rejection. No actually builds resilience. No says that, okay, well, you know what, I'm going to go through and find another way to get to, to get to the goal that I need to go through and get to. That's what a go-getter says. A go-getter does not go through and just ride by something, I, especially when it comes to marketing. I'm big on marketing and sales, so I'll probably be talking about that a lot right now. I remember when I first started off marketing for my company, I remember riding my doctor's offices and seeing the parking lots filled with cars. And I said, you know what? Uh, I don't think I need to go in there because I don't want to bother nobody today because I know they're busy. So I use those excuses to go through and delay my in my to delay, delay ultimately the growth of my business. I created those I created those excuses, or I'll go in and talk to the front desk clerk, and she would say no, and I would just say I would my heart would be beating up my chest, and I'll just be running out there almost dang near ready to cry because I got rejections. 
go-getters don't care about rejection. They're like, you know what? It is what it is. Because guess what? In the flip side, I remember one time I got rejected from one doctor, I mean, one, one front desk personnel, and I remember going on Facebook and finding this doctor and building a relationship with, with this person over, um, over Messenger, and we were out, and I knew this person always went to Starbucks, so I intentionally put myself in that arena where she was, and I ended up buying her a coffee, and guess what? That actually turned around to a relationship for me to go in and market my services to her because I did my research. I didn't, I didn't let no stop anything. I let no be an opportunity to go, th- to go through and actually allow me to become more creative. The more creative uh, I got just because I got to know. So sometimes no, no just allows you to go through and allow you to become more creative. So don't accept that as just like the final say. As a go-getter, go-getters are creative. We, we actually we thrive on creativity. So you have to go through and think outside the box when it comes to that as well. I'm moving right ahead. I'm going to go through and get a little bit of my Sprite. Oh, man, this is a I, this I, I had a, a, on my slide. Unfortunately, um, Facebook's not allowing me to cast it right now. But when it comes to um, um, well, I'm going to keep on. I'm not going to go there. OK, so let, let's let's go through. Let's go through and talk about hesitation. Go getters do not hesitate. They don't hesitate. Because they, they, they learn through past experience what hesitation does. Hesitation delays the ultimate outcome. Just like I said in my, my previous experience, when I got that no from that, from that front desk person and I went away just kind of like, oh, man, this is not for me, it hesitated the inevitable. It hesitated me growing as a person. A go-getter realized that through their past experience, hesitation is a killer. And that's one thing that we do not go through and thrive on. We don't hesitate anymore. We go through and put that hand out, shake, we shake that hand, we look that person in the eye, and we speak, we say hello, we build relationships. That's what go-getters do. They don't go through and hesitate. They, they speak up to be heard. They, they go through and talk to the supervisor. If, if they're not the supervisor, they, they talk to their team. They do not hesitate on anything. If it's complaints that come up, they're going to go through and talk about it. If for some reason, if for some reason uh, something needs to be addressed with the team, we're going to go through and talk about it. Hesitation delays ultimate success. So go get us realize that, you know what? I don't have time to hesitate. I'm not promised tomorrow. I'm not promised another minute. So I cannot hesitate on anything. I'm going to go through and make decisions because I need to make the decision now. That's what a go-getter does. A go-getter has a sense of urgency. I'm going to say it again. A go-getter has a sense of urgency. And that's one thing that, that that's 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 falling. That, that, that's, that's always that's kind of far and in between right now, a sense of urgency. People think that they're going to live forever. People think that, okay, jobs are here forever. People think that, that business is going to continue to go on the incline. People just think, you know what, hey, just because it's like this now, it's going to be like this always. No, a go-getter realized just because it's like this now, it will not be like this always. So I got to continue to go after other things to go through and make sure my foundation is solid, make sure my family is taken care of, make sure my business, my community is taken care of. So you have to go through and think of yourself as a go-getter. You are an entrepreneur. And that's one thing I'm talking to my entrepreneurs tonight. And I'm, I, I like talking to my entrepreneurs because I think you all can, can, can actually take this heavy hitter. I don't have to kind of bush, um, beat around the bush or anything. You all, you're entrepreneurs. You signed up for this right here. You raised your hand and said, you know, I'm going to leap out on my dream. I'm, gonna, I'm the go-getter. I'm, I'm, I'm leaping in the unknown right now so that I can go through and, and, and do something great and that my family will be proud of. So they don't, we don't hesitate as go-getters. Next one, go-getters compete with themselves. I have a picture of Jay-Z looking at himself in the mirror. Do you believe that Jay-Z is competing with anybody right now besides himself? Do you, the, the greats, they, the greats, anybody who's aspiring to do something great, if you have a drive, if, you, if you're lazy as heck, if you don't have a drive, if you don't give a dog gun about anything, yeah, you need to find someone else and go through and compete with them. But if you're a go-getter, I'm talking to my go-getters tonight, if you're a go-getter, you're competing with yourself because you realize that you, you're – you're gonna you cause yourself to wake up. Well, God calls me, me my, for my religious folks. God wakes us, wake us up, but you're gonna be the one that get up at three, four o'clock in the morning. You're gonna be the one that actually do something different. You're gonna be the, you're gonna be the one that read books like, like you're going crazy. You're gonna be the one that's going through improving yourself and be, improving your business, changing your mindset. That's that's you right there. You're gonna you're gonna go through and do that. So for you to compete with yourself, you have to you have to sharpen your tools because there's no need for you to compete with yourself from five years ago, because I don't need to compete with myself at the age of 10. There's no competition. I'm competing with myself for my future right now. I'm seeing that, okay, well, what I'm doing right now is going to go through and definitely pay off in the future, but I need to do it with a sense of urgency right now. So you're going to go through and compete with yourself. Go-getters, that's what they do. I have a young lady who's on my sales team for my healthcare company, an incredible saleswoman, an incredible saleswoman. She don't look to the left or to the right for competition because she knows 
that's this is what she does. She looks at her own number. She look at look, looks at her own activity. She goes through and say, you know what? This is what I can do. She never competes with anyone else, and her numbers show that she don't have to compete with anyone else because she's on the platform by herself. Go getters, you're gonna go through and plateau. You're gonna go through and peak. You're gonna go through and climb, not a mountain by yourself, but you're gonna go through and produce some great numbers, great results because you compete by you. You compete with yourself as well. Uh, on to the next. On to the next. Uh, da, 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 da. Go get you to be a go getter. And I'm gonna slow down a little bit on this one because this is right here is so important. Let me get a little sprite to drink. All right. So let's talk about this. Go getters, you have to have courage. You have to have courage to be courageous. You have to go through and be able to have that confidence, that confidence within yourself, that unshakable confidence, that bulldog tenacity type confidence that regardless of what it looks like right now, it's only an opportunity for you to learn. It's only an opportunity for you to go through and be creative. It's only an opportunity for you to go through and find another door for you to enter in. So you have to have that confidence. You have to have that commitment. And that commitment, commitment does not just happen on the good days. Commitment does not just happen when, when, every, when the sales are in and when everybody's calling your name. Commitment happens on the day when you're by yourself and you're driving down the road and you didn't get any sales or, or you're at your store and no one came to your store or, or, or you're, you're down and out but you realize you cannot give up because it's something bigger than you. That's what commitment is. You have to realize that commitment comes in the form of, of, of being able to provide for your family because you're committed to your family, being able to provide for your community because you're committed to your community, being able to provide for your employees because what you're committed to, for your, to your employees as well. That's what commitment is. Commitment outweighs how you feel at the current moment. Commitment says, regardless of how I feel, I still must press on. I still must continue to do what I'm called to do because I'm the visionary. I'm the go-getter. So I'm going to go through and do it. If anyone's going to do it, if anyone's going to go through and help change this environment, it will be me. That's what a go-getter says. And then, and last but not least, on this part right here, for to have courage, you must have enthusiasm. You no, no one wants to be around someone who's just kind of ah, oh, like just like with the little the little the little dog on Winnie the Pooh, like, okay, well, it's gonna be all right, or today was an all right day, or oh, I'm tired, or all this and all. No one wants to be around that. No one wants to be around a constant complainer. No one, no one wants to be around anyone that never has a good day. No one wants to be around someone that says, oh, well, this. No, no, you can't wake up on the, on the wrong side of the bed every day. Come on. Come on. You got to have some enthusiasm. You have to be excited about life. That's what go-getters, go-getters, even if you're not excited to, on that moment, you're going to go through and produce excitement. You're going to produce enthusiasm just because you know you change your environment. Let me say it again. You change your environment. You change your mind. You change your mind. That's what enthusiasm does. It changes the environment. Enthusiasm can influence others to go through and follow you. Enthusiasm can influence business to go through and business owners to do business with you. You have to have the courage to say, you know what? I'm not only I'm confident in what I'm doing, I'm committed to what I'm doing, but I am enthusiastic about what I'm doing because I know what I'm doing is doing it for a purpose as well. So that's one thing you have to have is you have to have courage. And I'm moving right along. I'm not going to keep you all here too much longer so let's let, let's go to talking about go-getters they also over plan and i got this from uh from young jeezy i mean i i i i love my boy jeezy the snowman you have to over plan i you have to over plan I, I think so many times in life people just plan for oh my gosh well i'm just gonna go through and and i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go and pitch this this company and and this is no you have to over plan what if they say this what if, what if, what if, what if you get there and they don't open up the door how would you go th what's your what's your alternative plan what's your what's your next what's your next reaction so you have to go through and think about you have to over plan things as well go getters we lord jesus i can stay right here for a minute go getters we're the type of people that some people, they cannot stand to be around because we're always thinking of another way to get in the door. We're always thinking of another way to produce. We're always overthinking things. We're looking at the small things and realize that those small things, those are important things right there. We're looking at the big things and say, you know what, those are important as well. So we're going through and making sure we over plan things because we know that we only have, in, in, in the words of like my, when I was in the military, we, I'm not going to say that. 
in, with, just like a batter, like you, just like when, when you're batting, you only have one time to hit that home run. That's one time. That's one thing you have to think about as a go getter. You have to think I have one opportunity to go to hit that, that that home run. Or if you're a Cleveland Cavaliers fan, like Jr. Jr. Um, Jr. did the other night, you only have one opportunity to go through and actually win the game, and you cannot go through and pass up that opportunity. And that's what go getters. We overthink things. We're very aware of our surroundings as well. Last but not least, last but not least, let's go through and talk about the power of the inner circle, power of the inner circle. We all have heard that we are the average of the five people that we most associate with the most. And so many times, so many times, and look, guys, like it's been 23 minutes. I forgot to go through and get off on my on my personal page. But, hey, we're going to keep it going. Um, so many times we have to go through and do a self-evaluation of our circle. I mean, like, really do a self-evaluation of your circle. I'm. I looked at my circle, and though I have a strong circle, I have some, some of the, the strongest people in my circle are some of my ladies. I, I'm not going to call it your name because some of y'all don't hear. Some of y'all are at work. Some of the, I have some strong individuals in my circle. God has blessed me with a strong circle. If you have a strong circle, that means you're strong. That means strength, like iron sharpens iron. You have to go through and actually Find power within that circle. So when, when I say when I say the inner circle, the things that you do, sometimes some circles you have to go through and actually pay your way in. It may be a mastermind. Some some circles is just friend, like circles of business owners or a chamber of commerce, whatever it is. But you have to find your way to find your way in a circle. Go getters, they find the ways in, in, they find themselves in circles so that they can go through and gain strength, so that they can go through and actually grow as well. So many times, the reason why people stop growing is because they associate with people to stop growing. Like, I'm going to say it again. So many times people stop growing is because they associate with people that stop growing. Anytime you amass whatever your idea of wealth or no, whatever your idea of success, you may, you may be on that top of that hill. You may have people around you that's celebrating you, but are they really challenging you to grow? That Go-getters, they, they don't care about no dog gun money. They don't care about no dog gun car. They don't care about no house, whatever that is. My thing is Go-getters, they're after the goals. They say, you know what, I'm always in a constant self-improvement mod. Um, uh, mode. I'm always trying to go through and improve myself. And I realized that if my brother, my sister to the left hand side or right is not helping me to improve, I need to go through and find someone who's going to go through and sharpen me. I need someone that's going to go through and challenge me. I need someone that's going to go through and help me elevate my mind. So no, no matter if your goals are financial, family, or whatever it is, you have to go through and find yourself in an inner circle of individuals that's going to go through and challenge you, not just go through and accept the norm, not to go through and accept the status quo, but it's going to go through and help you get better. Because not only are, you, are they helping you get better, it's, it's, it's a double-edged sword. You're helping them as well. And that's what go-getters do. They don't go through and seek out things, personal gains for themselves. They go through and say, how can I help others get better? That's what go-getters do. So on tonight, I want you to go through and evaluate yourself. I want you to go through and think, am I a real go-getter? Do I actually do I actually label myself as a go getter or do I have go getters on my team? What 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 actually and, and, and this may be a dialogue right now that we can go through and start. So I want to go through and actually ask you all for those that consider themselves a go getter. Give, give me the little emoji of raising your hand in the comment section. I want to go through and see um, the, the um, uh, how, how many go getters we have. And then I want I want you all to ask. I want you all to, I'm going to ask you all a question as well. As far as the go getter, go getters. Guys, go getters, they're, 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 they're schedule oriented. They, they, oh my gosh. And this is something that I had to fight myself on. I, I create my schedules every Sunday night and I try to stick with them all throughout, all throughout the week because I understand I have to do things intentionally. I have to do things on purpose. I can't just go through and wake up tomorrow and say that, okay, well, I'm just going to go through and try this. No, go getters, we know success is not, we're not surprised by success. Go getters are not we're not they're not surprised by success because it's planned out. It is planned out. You all would be amazed. You all would be amazed on my schedule. Like you, you all think y'all think Ferris is onto something right now. And I'm not I'm not even talking about financials. I'm talking about you all think you all think I'm I'm, I'm tapping out. I have goals right now where I'm gonna show you like this. This is what I'm studying for. This is what I, I'm studying for my next level. And y'all might say, well, Ferris. You already own a business. You got this going on. Got no. I'm my goals is by forty. Go by forty. I will finish my law degree. Why? Because I'm I'm going to continue to grow because I have a mind. I'm always going to going to go through and actually develop myself because I want to get into other circles that sometimes money cannot go through and get you in. That's what a go getter do. A go getter eliminates everything. There will be nothing that will hold me back. 
There's be nothing that will hold my family back. There will be nothing that will hold you back if you make the decision to go through and actually do what you got to do. That's what go-getters do. And best believe as a go-getter, guess what my inner circle? I've already identified individuals that are in the, they're, they're in the shoes that I want to be in. I'm, I'm starting to go through and actually communicate with them. One of my sisters, not, not my real sister, one of my sisters, she's an attorney. Her husband's an attorney. I'm already, I'm already having plans to go through and actually sit down and chat with them because I understand the value of connection. I understand the value of inner circle. Guys, I'm telling y'all, if y'all think that I'm only 35 years old, if y'all think y'all seen the best of me, Oh my God, you ain't seen the go-getter yet. You haven't seen the go-getter yet. The hustle is real. The potential is real. My work ethic is real. Now, is your work ethic real? Will you go through and continue to raise the bar on your life? I, I cannot wait. I'm so happy that my life is unfolding. I'm so happy that I took the leap, and I'm, I'm so happy that you all have taken the leap to go through and be that go-getter to be that person that, that individuals look up to and say, you know what, I want to be like that person. Because guess what? If individuals say, I want to be like you, you, and you, and you, all of you all that are on here right now, guess what? That means lives are changed. That means communities are changing as well. Because you are the go-getter. You, are, you have to go through and walk in this thing right here. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to stand out in, in a crowd of that and everyone says that you need to do this. No, don't be afraid. Go through and do it because you are a go-getter. So with that being said on tonight, I am truly, I'm truly, Shelly, you said you inspire me. No, girl, hey, I'm inspired by you all. I'm inspired by the ones that take their time out to go through and invest in themselves. I'm, ins I'm inspired by all my individuals that, that actually join um, the, um, the, the, the book club. Oh, my gosh, I'm so freaking excited about this book club. For those that are not in, in, on an aggressive reading program, not only that, but have the mentorship. I, I'm in, in this. Um, the book club, club is called the Accelerator Book Club. I'm actually squeezing out a lot of knowledge that I have, not only in business, but I'm doing it through the through the process of the books that I've read, and I'm implementing the strategies that I've had that I've read within books within my business, and I'm showing you how to go through and implement them within your business. So, if you have not joined the Accelerator Book Club, and I I coined it the Accelerator Book Club, it's not the Now Entrepreneur Book Club, it's the Accelerator Book Club. Inbox me. I can definitely send some more information on. We're, we're sending out books on tomorrow. So, yeah, definitely tonight is the last night if anybody wants to go through and actually join um, the Accelerator Book Club. It's so freaking exciting. I cannot wait for you all to go through and get this. Over the, over the next year, you all going to see this thing fill up. I mean, like just how much knowledge. It's crazy, y'all. It's crazy. So I'm going to go through and leave this section open tonight for any questions, any questions that individuals may have right now. Any, any, any of you go-getters out there have any questions right now? If you've got any value, if you got any value from this training on tonight, let me know by giving me a few thumbs up, hearts. If you didn't get any value, guess what? Let me know as well. Like Ferris said, you know what? I wish we, you would have said this. I wish you would have talked about this or, or inbox me. Hey, I'm always about self-improvement as well. There's no perfect person as well. So I'm, I'm always trying to go through. Vaughn, thank you so much, Mac. Hey, I see you. Thank you so much, T. Shea, Lavette. Hey, what's up, girl? Thank you all so much, Shayla. I've seen um, Bernard. I've seen some, quite a few people. I'm going to go up. Uh, the, 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 forgive me if I did not call your name. I Forgive me. Forgive me. K, what's going on, Marquette? Marquita? All you guys, hey, all you all, I just want to say thank you all so much for tuning in. I am so excited about our next level. You all are go-getters, and I'm just so proud that you've, you're on this journey alongside me, and I want everyone to go through and continue to raise that standard. It, whatever you're doing now, do something different. Just, just, just don't think about it. Just do it. Do not hesitate. Again, go-getters do not hesitate. Don't hesitate. Take action within your life. I mean, even though things may look impossible, take action. Take action. And I love action, uh, action, action oriented people. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. Those that are who, who are on the Accelerator Book Club, I'm going to be uh, dropping some messages and inviting you all to a private uh, members-only group. I'm super excited. I can't wait for you all to get the book. I can't wait for you all to get, get the workbook that, um, that I created as well. And we're going to dive, dive, uh, dive deep into this thing right here. I'm going to get you all right. I'm going to get you all on the program of reading three books a week at a minimum. Like I've, like three books a week. That, that's what entrepreneurs do because we want to continue to get that knowledge and we want to continue to apply knowledge as well. So with that being said, I'm going to get off here. I hope you, hope you all have a great evening. Any questions, any questions, let me go down my, my comment section and see if I have any questions, any questions. Uh, what's up, Mookie? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, Joe? Uh, and, and please forgive me. I get a lot of inboxes. I have not went through it and, and, and um, replied to a lot of people's boxes, but I will. Lord knows. Um, I 
probably need assistance just for that. Please forgive me on that. And on my private, uh, on my my personal page, hey, for those that are on my personal page, if you're not a member of the Now Entrepreneur uh, Facebook community, go through and click in the comment section, request access as well. Oh, girl, that's what I'm talking about, Shayla. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Well, we're going to get on off here tonight. I hope hope um the, the Cleveland Cavaliers win. For my Cleveland fans, um, for those Steph Curry fans, I know y'all not real Warrior fans, but you may be Steph Curry fans. Hey, go Cleveland again still. All right, so with that being said, I'm out of here. I'll check you guys a little bit later. Be, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout for um for, for, for the books, for the accelerator, but be on the lookout for our next training as well. I'm going to be dropping uh, a few nuggets about our next training probably the next couple of days. All right, peace, blessing. I love you guys so much. Continue to be go-getters. Go through and implement the things that we learned on tonight, and that's how you prove that you really – uh, love this training and you love me as well. All right. I'll chat with y'all later. All right. For those that are on my private page, this I'm going to stay over just a little bit. Make sure you click on that link above. Make sure you click on that link above.